Chris, it's, uh, it's almost like a, a movie on repeat right now for your team, just solid defensively and capitalize when needed. Yeah, I don't think we're solid defensively in the first period. Uh, second and third, I thought we were very solid. Um, it was just one of those games I think we weren't quite ready to play. You know, it's, it's tough. Chicago's not having the best start of the season, and they also had a lot of injuries, which make it really tough. And I know our guys look at the lineup and say, it's going to be easy, it's going to be, you know, and they didn't make it easy. They came out and they played a very good hockey game. And um, I think our guys were woke up and decided, to, uh, hey, we got to really pick it up and play much better. And, and in the second and third, I thought we played a really, really solid game. You're, you're getting good chemistry and good production from kind of three or four lines. It looked like they're generating lots. The, the dry side of line just probably isn't at the level they want as far as finishing goes. Anything you look to change there? Like when you have all the lines going, you've won eight. Is, do you want to switch one to get them or are you happy with how everything is? Um, yeah, no, it's something we were um, balancing right now. And I hate breaking up um, another line to get another line going. And right now we're winning and we're just kind of play by ear. Obviously, yeah, those three, each of them can be better and generate a little bit more. And whether that's um, just the chemistry of those three not being able to work together or those three just finding um, their groove and getting some confidence, kind of like our, our team did about three weeks ago or two weeks ago after you win a game or score some goals, it just, it just comes and maybe tonight with Leo scoring that goal, you know, maybe that changes him. I thought he had a, a great second half of the game. Um, yeah, who knows? Um, there's a lot of great shooters around the league, but did Bedard show a little bit tonight why maybe his shot's a little different? And what did you think of it? Um, yeah, I just uh, saw him score one of those uh, just the other night. I'm not sure. We saw it in the pre-scout, um, how he brings that to his backhand forehand so quick. And... It's a good, hard shot right into the corner. Very difficult for a goalie to save, but um, yeah, that's a, that's an elite shot. What uh, what have your thoughts been on Stuart Skinner? Obviously, the play has been very good here, but the spotlight is bright in town here when things aren't going well on goalies, and he needs to you know figure out how to absorb that and and continue to play well. What have you seen from him and his ability to to do that so far? Um, I've seen him being able to absorb the spotlight and. Um, Put any distractions behind him. Uh, you know, from what I've seen here, he looks like an elite goalie. I can see why he was um, uh, the reason why he had a season that he had last year. And he's come up with some really big saves for us during the stretch. So uh, I'm, I'm very confident with him in the net every night. Obviously, we can't have him in the net every night. And we had to uh, balance his workload. But um, yeah, he's been very good. Can you speak to uh, what you're getting out of that? Uh, the, I don't even know what the line's called, but uh, with uh, James Hamlin at center and Derek Ryan and Sam Gagne, just how opportunistic they are. Last two games at critical times, they gave you the lead heading into the second period. Yeah, no, we're very happy with those guys. I think a couple things that they do really well is one, um, they protect the puck. They don't give it away. Uh, they're very smart. They can make plays and get the puck to the next guy. Um, and they've been able to cycle that puck, and you know, obviously they've got two key goals in the last two games. And um, you know, you look at it and you're thinking, you know, they're not fast enough, they're not big enough, they're not strong enough. They have, that's not going to work. But they've made it work. They're just smart hockey players. They're reliable and they're working really hard. So uh, I've been very happy with those three. Your penalty kills 30 of 31 over the last nine games, uh, and specifically just the work of Yanmark and Connor Brown out there and what they're giving you, sort of how they kind of just, I mean, they snuffed everything out that Chicago had tonight when they were on the ice. Yeah, I know, uh, you know, before I got here and Yanny was hurt, so I didn't really know him very well. And then the coaches were talking about how good he is at angling and he might be the best on the team and maybe around the league, one of the best anglers. And certainly is that, um, but watching Brown as our F1 on the penalty kill, he's probably taken over that role. So the two of them have been um, very solid and they don't start just because of the face-offs and we've had uh, 
Nuge and DR kind of take on those responsibilities, but um, you know they really make it difficult to get set up in the um, in the O zone for the opposition. Hi, Chris. Uh, you, you talked about that fourth line um, a couple questions ago. I just wonder more specifically about Sam Gagne and what he's kind of brought to this team as, I don't know, an elder statesman guy who's had to battle through uh, through an injury at the start of the year. What has he kind of meant to the group as a whole? Well, I believe he's, um, well, between uh, him and DR, two older guys on the team. Uh, and I think with Sam, you know, battling through the injury and then we were kind of winning and there was a couple of games that he didn't uh, get back in. And, but since he's come back to the lineup, and even before he was good, and not that he played bad to come out of the lineup, it was just sometimes you just make changes as a coach just to see what your team has and kind of get to know what the players are. And, you know, I think right now, it, it, obviously he's a very smart hockey player. I think his puck skills are tremendous. Um, probably not as fast as he was in his, when he was younger in his prime, but he's making it work. And I think with him and Dr. Just and Hammy too, like they forecheck really hard. You know their minutes aren't high. Um, they give us everything they have in every shift. And um, like I said, they protect the puck really well and they get it to their line mate. And you can just see you know, how well they're cycling the puck. And um, yeah, it's just a lot of um, smart, simple plays. You flipped uh, Drysaddle and McLeod about halfway through the game. Can you explain why? What what went into that decision? Um, just yeah, well, I think we were getting out shots, 17 to 11 at that time. We only had 11 shots at midpoint of the game. <clears throat> we just need a little more push, and I don't want to make anything drastic. We just changed uh, two players. Um, you know, it looked pretty good on my part that they scored, but that had nothing to do with it. Obviously, there's a very fortunate balance, but I don't know. Just sometimes as a coach, you just need to change the balance a little bit. And I think we're a little just, just a little stagnant. We just need a little more something. Sometimes a line change does that. And I don't know if that had to do it. I'm sure we would have found our game even if I didn't make a line change. But um, yeah, that was it.